Hi, everyone. Uh, this session is about semi-supervised object detection. And uh, in this setup, we have a small amount of uh, labeled data and uh, a large amount of unlabeled data. And uh, the goal of semi-supervised learning is to improve um, okay. uh, is to um, improve model performance by using this uh, unlabeled data joint jointly with labeled data. And uh, main approaches of this field, such as a stack and bias teach teacher, are based on a teacher uh, student <coughs> framework. Um, in a teacher student framework, we have uh, two phases uh, fully supervised phase and semi supervised phase. Uh, in a fully supervised phase, uh, we uh, train only teacher uh, in labeled data. And uh, on a uh, semi-supervised phase, we uh, train a student on uh, labeled data jointly with unlabeled, uh, with uh, pseudo boxes generated by a teacher. And uh, we uh, filter that pseudo boxes by uh, some predefined threshold for a confidence score. And um, <clears throat> most of our uh, experiments are on NITAL's data set. And uh, this data set has three cl uh, classes, pedestrian, motorbike driver, and bicycle driver. And uh, here we can see that uh, the images of in this data set has uh, low quality. Uh, and um, our setup is a little different from a classic semi-supervised semi setup. We have a few stages, and in each stage, we have access uh, to some part of uh, some part of labels of uh, our data. And uh, at at last stage, we have uh, full access to all uh, labels. Um, our solution is based on unbiased teacher. Uh, unbiased teacher uh, is for, uh, based on teach, uh, teacher student framework. Uh, and uh, there is a little difference in um, classic algorithm. Uh, teacher uh, model isn't uh, updated after uh, training on labeled data, but uh, here a uh, uh, teacher is updated from student. Uh, with EMA, uh, and uh, we can say that uh, teacher model is an uh, ensemble of student models from uh, different iterations. Uh, here, uh, mm -hmm. uh, from our experience, we s uh, saw that our data set is imbalanced and a uh, classic constant uh, threshold method from filtering uh, pseudo-labeled uh, doesn't uh, um, help us because uh, uh, we can see that uh, images from uh, first class uh, are many more than uh, from other two classes. And uh, for the, uh, for um, to address this problem, uh, we uh, um, apply some uh, other techniques. Uh, one of these is dynamic thresholding and uh, objectness network. Um, uh, dynamic threshold, um, <coughs> we get, uh, we take this approach from uh, we're thinking pseudo labels paper uh, and uh, a little refine it and then apply it to our algorithm. Uh, and uh, here we uh, for um, for each batch we compute the mean uh, mean of confidences for uh, for a class and uh, take uh, and and, <coughs> and our uh, threshold um, confidence score. For that class, uh, are uh, tau, and uh, the, um, we scale, uh, we scale uh, the, um, that threshold by 
um, gamma hyperparameter, but but, uh, but we can uh, but we uh, saw that uh, this uh, parameter is uh, not um, uh, we uh, we uh, is not applicable to uh, to all data set. Objective's network is our uh, solution to address class imbalance imbalance problem and. Uh, this is a small uh, convolutional network, and for a certain uh, and for a given box, it predicts uh, whether it contains an object. And uh, object is network uh, trained on uh, features provided by uh, ResNet fifty model, uh, which is pre-trained uh, pre on ImageNet dataset. Uh, for uh, training uh, object this network, we uh, first of uh, we uh, we pertain it uh, on Coco dataset with uh, uh, with pertain it on synth uh, synthetic data which generated uh, on Coco dataset. And then uh, fine tune it on uh, labeled examples of our data set, and uh, then uh, apply this objective objectives net, uh, network for filtering uh, teachers' uh, pseudo boxes. Um, <coughs> uh, we generate synthetic data by uh, doing uh, sheets on ground truth boxes. And uh, we take some ideas from deep box uh, paper. Uh, we generate uh, positive and negative uh, examples. Um, and our uh, model looks like uh, looks like this. Uh, we have a teacher model, objectness network, and student model. Uh, object this uh, network uh, pre-trained on GoGo, then it uh, fine-tuned on our labeled data set and then it applied uh, for filtering. Uh, here is uh, results of some of our experiments and uh, we can see that uh, on um, third and uh, we can see that our filter network helps uh, to improve our model's performance. Uh, so guys, let's go to the Q&A session. I'll ask the question myself. Okay. I'm wondering, uh, do this setup of pre-training for the object detection model able to zero shot? Uh, zero shot we, uh, without any labeled example. So you have classes, like three okay. classes. Imagine you have the class, like, I don't know, the green crocodile and the blue bicycle, and you want to find the green bicycle. So they are able to do that. Uh, I think no. <laughs> okay. So any other questions, guys? Yes, uh, unfortunately, we were late and we okay. uh, first part of the presentation. If, if it is possible for you to summarize uh, like the whole pipeline, what we have done. Uh, I think yeah. finding the pipeline is the thing. Thank I you see. for this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, we uh, have uh, our uh, we have se semi supervised setup. And uh, we want to have a better filter for filtering um, pseudo labels from a teacher. And uh, our database, uh, our da uh, data set is imbalanced. That's why a constant threshold uh, cannot be applied uh, in this case. And uh, we uh, have uh, um, another network. Uh, convolutional network, this objectness network, uh, which says, uh, um, is it, uh, is a given box contains an object or not? And then uh, we uh, have uh, some IO threshold and we keep only uh, boxes uh, which uh, 
for, uh, for which uh, object needs network answer is above that IO threshold. You can display both features to the that object needs of the attack. In this case, it needs to be the entire picture, right? There are two networks yeah, and there is object needs. Yes, we have teacher network. It, uh, it, it's uh, uh, trained on um, labeled examples. Then uh, we in, uh, and we have student network. It's uh, trained on labeled examples plus on unlabeled examples with pseudo labels we, uh, provided by teacher. Um, also, can you specify what type of models those are? Yes, uh, faster. Yes, they are. Uh, they have the same architecture, and both are faster RCMEs. 